Hello everyone and welcome back once again to my YouTube class guys I am Manjit Rawat your online instructor and in this session I am going to show you how you can manage the Azure Bastion service so this is 27th video of uh, AG104 video series and let's talk about the theoretical and after that we'll move ourselves to portal and discuss about the procedure so if we talk about the work of Bastion service so you know that uh, uh, whenever we create Azure, whenever we create our virtual machine over Azure portal, we have a three different way to access our VM. One, with the help of RDP, you can access your virtual machine from on premises. Second, SSH is, a, is another way that give you option to connect your virtual machine. And last option is related to the Bastion. So, in case of Bastion, the good thing for Bastion service means you no no, no need to use any kind of public IP address because the RDP and NSS, uh, SSH both are responsible both. Uh, uh, can perform the task with the help of public IP address, right? But if you if you want to connect or if you want to access your virtual machine with the help of Bastion, so no need to use any kind of public IP address. So it means that it's a secure way. It gives you the uh, uh, a security to connect the RDP of your virtual machine in compare of SSH and RDP method. So let's talk about the prerequisite. If you plan to establish your uh, uh, Bastion over Azure portal. So what what are the prerequisites you should know about it? So in this case, we need to create a one VNet and under the VNet You must need to create at least two different subnet So VNet must be contained at least two subnet one subnet for Virtual machine and second subnet for Bastion host Okay, and by using this particular method, you can create your virtual machine under the subnet of VM and we will access the virtual machines with the help of Bastion without using any kind of public IP address. So I'm going to show you proper step how we can establish our Bastion service over Azure portal. So need to open our Azure portal and first of all, as per the requirement, we must need to create one VNet service, right? And VNet must be contained, VNet must be contained at least two different subnets. So it's a really simple step that we need to use to establish our Bastion service. Now we are on the page of uh, Winit. Need to click on Create. Select the type of uh, subscription that you have, and second option, proceed with any uh, resource group. So I'm going to proceed with the Azure Class One. Type the name of your uh, Winit. I'm going to proceed with name of uh, Bastion Winit. Central US is our location. In second part, you must need to provide your own IP address. Like I'm going to create IP address space with the 192.168.1.0 slash 25. Add one more subnet. Subnet for VM. And need to provide the IP address range for virtual machine. So I'm going to proceed with the slash 26. 192.168.0.0 slash 26. This is the uh, subnet mask that you need to capture from your address space. So we have a both way. If you want to create a multiple subnet right now, and after that you will add your Bastion host in the existing subnet mask, it is also possible. Uh, if you don't want to create a subnet, multiple subnet right now, so you just need to create your VNet. Uh, with available IP address, once our VNet is ready to use, we will configure the subnet IP. We will configure the subnet for Bastion host separately. So right now, I'm just going to proceed to create our VNet with the uh, IP address of slash 25, and we created. We'll try to create a one subnet for uh, with IP address of slash 26. So right now, we have our 64 IP address remaining. No need to do anything. Just review and create. Once our VNet is ready to use, we will create our virtual machine under the VNet and in last step, we will configure our uh, Bastion host. So it will take maximum one or two minutes. So once our VNet is ready, we will create our virtual machine and after virtual machine, we will proceed and manage the Bastion service. Cool. So our VNet is ready to use. Now you need to open uh, compute part and uh, need to create a one virtual machine. Because you know that Bastion is responsible to access our virtual machine with the help of HTTP protocol with, with the help of HTTPS protocol. 
so need to create your own virtual machine under the same vnet that you created so i'm going to select our existing resource group uh, as your class one type the name of your vm so i'm going to proceed with name of web select the same location central us i'm i'm going to create our virtual machine with the uh, uh, windows server 2012 with one core of cpu and 12 gig of, uh, 2 gig of ram provide the username and password next and you must need to put your virtual machine under your own vnet that you created so see subnet for vm that we created earlier click next and create so now it will take up to three to four minutes once our vm is ready last step will follow and uh, create a basket host for this particular virtual machine everything is okay now click on create and it will take up to two to three minute time so we just need to wait and once our vm is ready we will create a bastion host and try to access our virtual machine with the help of https protocol okay now our virtual machine is ready to use let's try to understand about how we can manage the bastion host so it's a really simple step that we need to use to configure bastion service uh, this is the property of our virtual machine and now we are able to find one option connect whenever we click on connect see we are able to find three different options you can proceed with rdp you can proceed with ssh and last option is related to the bastion so let's click on bastion service and now you must need to configure the bastion host so what you need to do just need to click on bastion use bastion service and it gives you the information about your uh, vnet that you created and it will be automatically create a one subnet for bastion host see 192.168.1.64 slash 27 so this particular subnet is basically uh, basically designed to manage the bastion host survey no need to do anything need to click on create subnet once our subnet is ready bastion can allow access to uh, allow access to manage your virtual machine Everything is okay, Bastion host vnet that we created earlier and it will be automatically pick the information from existing vnet and we just need to click on create as your Bastion using default option. So no need to make any changes here, it will manage each and everything automatically. So now if we talk about the duration that it will be take up to 8 to 10 minute time to create your Bastion host. So once our bastion host is ready to use we will access our virtual machine by using https protocol means we are able to access our virtual machine with the help of url or with the help of browser directly so now i think we need to wait uh, it will take up to eight to ten minutes so once our bastion host is ready to use we will give i'll, I'll, I'll give you the step how you can connect your virtual machines without using rdp without using the public ip address of our vm so let's wait. Okay, after 10 minutes, our Bastion host is ready to use. So what we need to do, we just need to use our username and password and then need to click on connect. It will directly give you the access of your virtual machine that you created. So here you are using a port number 443 means which is work over a, a HTTPS. In this case, you can directly remove the public IP address from your virtual machines property, right? So it's a secure way to connect your VM by using the Bastion service. So this is all about the Bastion. I hope you all of you uh, understand about the concept and procedure as well. So although if you have any question or doubt, please let me know. You can also drop me a comment if you have any question or suggestion. So take care guys. We'll connect uh, soon with next video. Take care and bye-bye.